वेलकम टू ऑल माय एनर्जेटिक लर्नर्स टुडे आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस आवर कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड एंड आवर लर्निंग आउटकम्स आर आइसोमेरिज्म एंड इट्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स आइसोमेरिज्म व्हाट इज आइसोमेरिज्म वी नो दिस इज अ फिनोमेना इन व्हिच कंपाउंड्स आर हैविंग सिमिलर मॉलिक्यूलर फार्मूला बट डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चरल formula so here in coordination compound this isomerism is of two type it is of two type structural isomerism and stereo isomerism structural isomerism it is formula what is structural here there is a difference in the structures of different compounds so it is further divided into four different types right what is it linkage isomerism ionization isomerism solvent isomerism and coordination isomerism right further we will discuss now with example and definition and another type is stereo isomerism stereo isomerism here the compounds they differ in the spatial arrangement of the atom three dimensional shape structure we will discuss here and two isomers they are different from each other by spatial arrangement of the atom it is further divided subdivided into two main types what are these geometrical isomerism and optical isomerism right in geometrical we will see there is cis and trans form and in optical we are dealing with mirror images which are non superimposable so let us discuss one by one with example first we will discuss structural isomerism then stereo isomerism let us discuss structural isomerism let us study structural isomerism so as i have told you in structural isomerism there is difference in the structures of different two isomers first of all is our ionization so the reason of structural isomerism ionization as the name indicates there is something having relation between the ions counter ion and the ligand right this isomerism is only possible in our coordination compound when our counter ion can act as a active ligand or ligand if it can act as a counter ion then the ionization isomerism is possible as in this example right it is your five amines are there inside as a ligand sulfate ion is there sulfate and bromide bromide is also bromide can act as a ligand also so here in this example we have written this bromide inside sulfate outside right these two are isomer it's only possible if ligand can act as a counter ion and counter ion can act as a ligand in our coordination compound this is ionization next is our linkage so in linkage isomerism is only possible in this and the compounds when we are having ambidentate ligand if in our compound ambidentate ligand is present our linkage isomerism is there so what is difference the there is a difference you know ambidentate ligands are those in which there are two donor sites right two donor atom but at a time only one donor atom is used okay in this particular coordination compound here it is o and o this is ambidentate ligand right we are having two generally which are used uh, one is nitrite right another is thiocyanide right here sulfur and carbon they are donor atoms here oxygen and nitrogen in nitrite they are the donor atom now in this first compound as an example we have used here oxygen is a donor atom so it is nitrito o 
But in the second isomer, isomer here NO2 is written, right? So means here nitrogen is the donor atom. So it will be nitrito N. Okay. So this is your linkage. Where antidentate ligand are required for the linkage isomerism. Next, our solvent isomerism. So here there is a relation between the solvent. Whenever, so it is prominent that when water is solvent, right, and water itself is acting as a ligand in our compound, then the isomerism will be a solvent isomerism. So here it is just like similar to the ionization isomerism, right, but here conditions are there, water should be one of the ligand and it, here it should act as a solvent here. So what happened? This water uh, just replaces itself, one molecule of water or two molecules of water replaced with the counter ion and in the ionization isomerism. So here you see six water are there inside, but one of them replace go outside and chlorine from the outside enter inside as a ligand. So this is your solvent. Isomerism where water is required as a ligand as well as solvent. Then this uh, compound shows solvent isomerism. And the last one is the coordination isomerism. In coordination isomerism, there is an interchange of the ligands, or you can say interchange of the metals in cation and anion. So it is only possible when both your Cation as well as anion, they are complex ions, right? So if they are complex ions, then coordination isomerism is possible and coordination numbers will be equal, right? So this is about the coordination isomerism. Now next is our geometrical and your optical isomerism, that is stereo isomerism. Let us study that. Study about the stereo isomerism. As I have told, a stereo isomerism is of further to type geometrical and optical. In geometrical isomerism, there are two types of isomers known as cis and trans. What is the difference between them? First thing here, this type of isomerism is present in heterolactic complexes. Heterolactic means there we are having more than one type of ligands as we are having here. Right? Now, in cis, what happens? In cis, two similar type of ligands, they are present adjacent to each other, adjacent position. Next to one, right? If I will talk about the two three numbers, one, two, and three, then one and two are adjacent to each other. Two and three are adjacent to each other, right? This is known as adjacent position. Next to other, similar ligands, they are present at the adjacent position, right? So here that is, and trans, they are diagonally opposite. Similar ligands are present diagonally opposite, okay, as here, they are diagonally opposite, okay, so this is cis and trans form, okay, uh, there are three different type of examples here in the different type of compounds, so first category, MX2L2, where M represents the center metal, X represents the ligand and L represents another type of ligand, because they are different types. Okay, now let us take this example of this compound, platinum is a central atom and chlorine are two type of and uh, your amine are two ligand. Right, but this is your cis form because we are having the, uh, two ligands similar type at sent to each other. And this is your trans form because they are diagonally opposite. Amine are diagonally to another amine. Chloride is diagonally opposite to another chloride. Alright, this is our uh, first category of type of compound in the geometrical isomerism. There can be another type in which metal is there, 
2 ligands one die and 4 ligands another die. Means here coordination number is coordination number is here 6 and this is for the coordination number 4. So only for this type of coordination number geometrical isomerism is only possible. Okay, here cis is identified according to the position of this H2. Means that ligand which is present in minimum amount, minimum number. Right? X2, X2 is here and sent to each other in this compound. So my cis will be according to this. Now because these four ligands which are of a mind here, they show trans as well as cis. So I am not able to identify by this ligand position. So we will use that ligand which is present minimum amount. That is here slowly minimum amount two numbers are there. So this is here adjacent position so it is cis4 and in another chlorine dilution is trans position diagonally opposite. So this is your transform. Alright. Next example is here. Category of the compounds in which we are having didentate ligand also. Octahedral complex but didentate ligand is there. Having two donor sites. Right. So we are using here chlorine as chloride. Right. Chlorido and ethylene diamine. En. Abbreviation. En is there. Right. So, because some of the ligands we write in application as oxidative OX, same up. Yes. So, uh, how to write now? Cis and transform. Cis with this because chlorine are sent to each other. And if I need the enemy, they are dilated, so they are using this way donor atom. Two co donor atom are used. So, this is your cis form because they same type of ligand they are adjacent to each other one after another alright and in the transform both the same ligand they are diagonally opposite right diagonally opposite this is your the third category type of the compounds which shows geometrical isomerism okay geometrical isomerism so this was geometrical isomerism now last is our Optical isomerism. In optical isomerism, we have here the mirror images. We will check the mirror images, right? When the compounds have non-superimposable mirror images, right? There the optical isomerism is possible. Okay? And the, these non superimposable mirror images, which are known as isomers, we are known as N enantiomers. N enantiomers. Right? These isomers, which are non superimposable imposable mirror images of each other, they are known as enantiomers. And such molecules which have enantiomers, they are known as chiral molecules. They are known as chiral molecules and we are having what is the common common they are common in octahedral complexes which have having didentate ligand so for the optical activity also generally we are having didentate ligand having two donor atoms right oh uh, yes that is given in previous session also didentate right second uh, part is here okay Optical isomerism, let us take one example here. Same if we have discussed here, right? Now, in some of, in this geometrical isomerism, we are having cis and trans, and the general observation that cis form only gives optical isomerism. Cis form also gives optical isomerism, but trans form of, from the geometrical isomers, trans form is not optically active. Right, because mirror image superimpose and condition is here, they should be non superimposable. Okay, so here it is superimposing. Let us see here. Same compound we have used here cobalt, right? Cl2, En2, uh, ethylene, uh, diamine, codine, right? So uh, it's transformed first we have used, then it's mirror image we have, 
drawn. Now see what is there. This is the mirror image. If I can pick it up from here and try to superimpose, overlap. Superimpose means overlapping. What will happen? It will get overlap here. Right? So it is superimposable. So this is not optical actually. Right? It is not so optical isomerism. Okay, so transform, this is transform, diagonally opposite, so they are not optical active. Let us see the cis form. There is a cis form, right? Adjacent to each other, two similar ligands are adjacent to each other, and its mirroring is how it will come in this form. If I will pick it up from here and try to superimpose, they will not overlap. Right? This chlorine will come, chloride will come this side, ethylene diamine in this side like this. So they are not superimposing, means they are optically active. So this is all about the isomerism, right? And now the things are totally in your pocket. You have cashed it, but more practice is required to make it totally your property. So do that and be of fact in this skill of isomerism. Okay, last but not least, our thought of the topic. Yes, what is it for today? Yes, here. You will face many, many things in life, but never let yourself defeat it. Right? Because we are not a body. We are in energy. We are life. Life cannot be defeated. Because every failure is the first learning in, first attempt in learning. Fail says, first attempt in learning. Right? And end. It is not end. End. Efforts never dies. No means next opportunity. So be positive. Think positive and move ahead. Life is waiting with infinite success for those who want to be winner. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Wish you all the very best.